Hello and welcome back to our NCAA Football 2004 Dynasty with the North Carolina Tar Heels. We are going to be taking on the East Carolina Pirates here today in their house. It's going to be a fun game. Another little North Carolina rivalry. Not really known too much, but I'm going to call it a rivalry just because we're in the same state. So we're going to get into it. Let's take a look at the Sports Illustrated SEC Showdown. The Tennessee campus is buzzing after a victory over number four Auburn. So the Volunteers beat War Eagle. So cry, Auburn fans, cry. The shocker of the week is number four Auburn falling to SEC rival Tennessee. Let's take a look at the top 25 polls so far in this season. Ohio State firmly in the number one spot. Texas number two. And a little bit of movement after that. Oklahoma three, Virginia four after our heartbreaking loss to the Cavaliers last week. I'm still upset about it. And I'm looking forward to our next matchup with them because I just want to destroy them. Uh, Miami jumps back up into the top 10 after beating West Virginia. Alabama's in there, of course. And they're 4 and 2. They just beat Georgia and they jumped up five spots. And there's Tennessee. They jump up eight spots after their 24 20 win over Auburn. Purdue is in there. Nebraska, the Razorbacks, they're 3 and 1. So still quite a few uh, undefeated schools here, as well as the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Yeah, buddy. Kevin Fant, 13 touchdowns, two picks. Absolutely phenomenal quarterback this season. Of course, he was not that good for us in our Bulldogs dynasty in NCAA football 2003. So I'm kind of upset about that a little bit too. Arizona State is in 23rd. Texas A&M and Florida State rounds out the top 25. They just beat Duke 33-3. Uh, but their offense is not very good. But they do have to take on 10th ranked Miami this week. One of the best rivalries in college football. Uh, I can't wait to see who wins that matchup. Heisman watch. McClendon for the Wolfpack. Number one still. Russell Williams. Rashawn Sanders for Colorado State is in there. And Maurice Claret drops to fifth. But he's having a great season as well. Over 850 yards. And TJ Mawinney. Player of the week for the Bulldogs. Oh, my goodness. And there's the ACC. We're not really going to focus too much on the rest of the country. But Chris Canty, he had four sacks against us. And, and yeah, our quarterbacks are still hurting. They definitely took some ice baths after that. Conference standings. Virginia, number one. And let's see. We are dead last currently. 0-3 in conference play. Duke is eighth. I don't care if we get in the bottom two of the season. As long as we are above Duke in the final conference rankings, that's all I care about. Because we got to beat our rival in any way possible. But here we are. Uh, both of these teams right now, pretty average. <laughs> 72 uh, national rank for North Carolina. 74 for the Pirates. And here we are in Greenville, North Carolina. This is going to be a fun game. It's going to be really exciting. And a lot of great plays. So let's get into it, folks. Tar Heels on offense first. C.J. Stevens going to pump fake. And throw it right side. And open is Mason. And he's going up the sideline. First down. Up past the 40-yard line. This is one of the best passing attacks in the country. Stevens under center. He will throw again. Bowman left side wide open. Past midfield. The 40. The 30. Bowman inside the 20. And out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Great start for the Tar Heels. Stevens going to throw again to the end zone. Wide open again is Bowman for the score. And the Tar Heels just like that. Quick silver. Touchdown. That was three plays. And they are in the end zone already. What a throw from Bowman. And a fantastic drive to start things off. Now, where was this last week against Virginia? The defense did everything they could to hold the Cavaliers. And the offense just could not produce. Here are the Pirates on the ensuing kickoff. Brown up past the 20, past the 30. Breaking two tackles, still going. And he's still up, all the way to midfield. What a return from Brown. And Chris Hawkins has injured his head on the play. That is huge. He's done for four weeks. He is a corner. And we are going to have to have Mason, our freshman wide receiver, in there at cornerback for the rest of this ball game and the next few weeks as well. And the Pirates are already taking advantage of that. And here they are on the option play. Troth gets the first down and more still up all the way down to the 11-yard line. Crowd going wild here in Greenville. Second down and seven. Troth to throw. 
All day over the middle and it's caught by Moy. Oh my goodness. There was three Tar Heel defenders right there. And he still fit the pass in there for the touchdown. So Pirates and the Tar Heels trading scores to start the game. Stevens taking a shot left side. Bowman open again. He's going to get it up past midfield into Pirate territory. 95 passing yards already for the Tar Heels. And we're not even three minutes into the ball game. Stevens play action wide open over the middle is Bowman again. Four catches for Bowman. Five consecutive completions so far today for Stevens. He'll throw it again. He's pressured. He's going to be sacked and he fumbles the football. And it's recovered by the Pirates. Terry was right there. And he didn't recover it. Oh my goodness, big fella, you gotta dive on that. Trotz trying to take advantage. He's picked off by Johnson. He had two picks last week against Virginia. Johnson is gonna have a pick six. And the Tar Heels take the lead again. Johnson has been performing very well the past couple weeks. Three interceptions. He had two in a huge game against number six, Virginia. And now here today to get his team to lead back. Just jump the route, and you're not going to catch him in the open field. Unless you're Virginia, of course. So 14-7. A lot of great plays so far here in the first quarter as Brown runs a man over and picks up the first down on the ground. Actually, they did not give him the first down. He fell way over the first down marker, and he gets it easily this time. About a five-yard carry up the gut. Drop the throw. Pressure. Justice has the sack. Middle linebacker came through on the blitz. He has been uh, a really good player for this defense so far this year. Third down at 15. Can the Tar Heels get a stop? Draw up, finds Moy, and Justice stops him short of the marker. So the Tar Heels will get the ball back. Stevens, look at those numbers. 5 of 5, 102 yards and a touchdown already in the first quarter. Stevens to throw again over the middle. Bowman once again wide open. He's got the first up to the 39-yard line. Most of those yards are to Bowman today. Stevens again over the middle. This is Mason. He's got the first down into Pirate territory. Seven consecutive completions for C.J. Stevens. He is on fire. Can it continue? 50 seconds left here in the first. Stevens is going to be sacked again. All the way back inside North Carolina territory. Duckett, his second sack today. Nice game for the big defensive tackle. Second and 18. Stevens, nice pump fake. Over the middle. It's picked off by Gene. The first incomplete pass of the game for Stevens. And Gene is going to carry a uh, player all the way to the 41 yard line. And the Pirates looking to take advantage of that turnover. But they fumble the football. Hope recovers it. Almost gave it right back to him. Second down and seven. Now in the second quarter, he is Troth. Quarterback draw. And he will run a man over. He's still up somehow. Gets it up to the 32-yard line. Third down and in inches. Trough to throw it. Left side. A man is open. Justice can't get him out of bounds. And Brown is in for the score. And the crowd is going crazy. The Pirates tie it up here with a great play on the sideline from the halfback. Staying in bounds here. And nice little stiff arm there to avoid the tackle. And 14 all. Stevens to throw again. Wide open. Russell at the 40-yard line. Nice play coming across the center of the field. 97 passing yards over the middle today. Stevens to throw again. Stevens throws it over the middle once again, and it's Mason. He's got it. First down. Huge pickup. And Stevens up to 175 yards passing in the first half. Third down and 10. Stevens is going to be sacked. Willie Parker just stood there. And watched his quarterback get wrecked. So the Tar Heels punt the football away. And the Pirates are back on offense. Troth going to throw it over the middle. Caught by Copper. Just over the head of Justice. It's now three consecutive completions after the pick six. Third down and eight. Troth going to throw it over the middle. Wide open again. This is Peterkin. And he'll get it up to the 42-yard line. First down. Pirates. And move them chains. Clemson beats Virginia. First loss of the year for the Cavaliers. So they did what we could not do. And there's a great catch by Moy. And he's all the way to the 10-yard line. Great one-handed snag. Now third down and six. Play action. Over the middle. Deflected away at the last second. Great play for the Tar Heel defense as they hold the Pirates to a field goal. 
Fourth down and six. Here is the field goal unit. The kick is up, and it is right down the middle. So the Pirates take the lead again. A 73-yard drive, nine plays, almost two minutes off the clock. It's 17-14. Stevens rolling around. Bowman wide open again. What a great route runner. And he goes out of bounds around the 33-yard line. He's up over 100 yards receiving today. Down at 10. Stevens left side. He's got Bowman again. He breaks the tackle and gets the first down out of bounds at the 48-yard line. This guy is unguardable. Seven catches. 131 today in the first half. Second down at 10 again here. Stevens over the middle. It's Pollock this time. He's got the first down. First time we've seen his number call. Stevens will throw again. Wide open is Mitchell on the right side. And he'll get a first down and out of bounds with 138 remaining in the half. Stevens is on fire today other than that interception. And he's going to throw it out here to Parker. Right side and he'll get up to the 20-yard line. His first catch of the ball game gets him 8 yards. Second down and 2. Stevens over the middle. Russell has another one. First down inside the 15-yard line. Four consecutive completions. Stevens pressure, right side, he throws it to Mitchell again, almost gets the first down. He just stepped out of bounds though, second down and three. Stevens over the middle and Russell wide open, coming across the center of the field. And the Tar Heels are going to take the lead back over the Pirates. It's really difficult for these Pirates uh, defenders to cover these receivers. There's just so many of them and they're so fast. And here's a run for Brown. Nice spin move. Brown will get the first down on a third down and six attempt. Draws to throw it. Right side. Wide open is Peterkin. And he'll get it all the way to the 30-yard line. I don't know where the coverage was, but he was all by himself. First down at 10. Draw to throw. Throws it deep left side. It's picked off again. This is Roberson. And he fumbles the football. It's recovered by the Pirates. Peterkin falls on it. That would have been huge. North Carolina would have went into the half with a 21-17 lead. Instead, it's third and 10. And Troth will throw it to the end zone back corner. And it's caught by Copper for the go-ahead score with four seconds left. We don't even get a replay of this. But I did go in the instant replay. He did drag his back foot. So the Pirates had the lead at the half. 24-21. And here is Copper again getting a nice reception up past the 45-yard line. Pirates looking to take a two-score lead. Trot wide open down the field as Moy up to the 24-yard line. Where's the coverage? He's got 99 yards on five receptions today. Trot play action. Hit as he throws to the end zone, and Copper has another one. That was basically the same play they scored on at the end of the second quarter. Oh, my goodness. And that's Waddell getting beat again at corner. So the uh, Tar Heels down 10 points now, and Stevens going to be sacked for a huge loss of 12 here. And there was a holding call. That play was an absolute disaster, and they're going to decline it. That'll be second down and 20. Stevens to throw. He's trying to get some of these yards back, and he finds Bowman for a 23-yard pickup and a first down. That'll get him over 150 yards receiving today. Stevens to throw again. Left side this time to Mason. He's got eight yards. Eight consecutive completions for C.J. Stevens. Kent Neely is out for the game with a hit pointer for the Pirates as Madison Hedcock, Hedgecock picks up the first down. Second down and eight. Stevens throws it up to Bowman. This time it's picked off. Brainer makes him pay at around the 35-yard line. His first pick of the season. And Stevens just went to Bowman one too many times that drive. So the Pirates now can take a commanding lead if they get in the end zone again. Here is Brown breaking tackles, getting up to the 45-yard line. As you see Clemson score against Virginia yet again. Second down and one. I don't know how they didn't give him the first down on that play. Draw off left side, wide open again is right. And he's all the way inside the 25-yard line and out of bounds. That left side is getting torched. Poor <laughs> Waddell getting beat every single drive for big game. First down and 10. High formation. They'll hand it off to Brown on the counter. And he fumbles the football. And it's still on the ground. And it's recovered by North Carolina. That's Bowman. <laughs> the receiver is out there. And he recovers the fumble. So a huge play for the Tar Heels. 
And here is Mason. Nice catch over the middle. Picks up about 20 yards. And Stevens now over 300 yards passing here in the third quarter. Stevens to throw. Wide open is Bowman. Nice diving catch. Oh my goodness. Nine catches for him. 163 yards. But it's third and one. Willie Parker gets the first down. First time we've really seen him today other than one catch. But his first nice run. NC State had a shutout. 44-0. I didn't even see who they played. Does it really matter? No. Parker, nice carry, first down, and all the way inside the 40-yard line, his best run of the game. Play action from Stevens, throws off his back foot, completes it to Pollock inside the 20-yard line. Huge play as the Tar Heels go over 200 yards passing in the middle of the field today. First down at 15 after a false start. Lewis is open, but instead Bowman makes the catch. <laughs> that was intended for the halfback. But it was overthrown, and Bowman has his 10th catch. Get your fours up. 31-21, Pirates on top. Tar Heels trying to come back. Here's Pollock, wide open. Gets it to the two-yard line. Tar Heels need to punch it in here for a score. 11 play, 84-yard drive so far. 301 off the clock, and Willie Parker is going to get it in for the touchdown. It is now a three-point ball game as Tar Heels have stormed back and with a huge touchdown drive. Third down and seven for the Pirates. Troth, right side, and it's caught by Peterkin. Johnson was there, just missed the ball on the deflection attempt. And they're gonna tack on five yards as Mason, the receiver, is out there in coverage. Troth, play action, right side, wide open again, is right, and Mason pushes him out of bounds. Second down and two, Brown on the toss play. A lot of space in front, break of tackles, hurdling a defender. Inside the 15-yard line, and I believe that was Mason who got hurdled. Uh, freshman wide receiver looking a little rough out there in coverage, but a nice play here for Justice as the Tar Heels look to get a stop. Oklahoma beats Texas 31-30. Huge game, Red River rivalry. And Trot to the end zone. Copper again beats Waddell for the third touchdown of the game. That has just been a nightmare for Waddell. It's now 38-28. The Pirates have a two-score lead again. Deep shot from Stevens, and he finds Russell inside the 30. Russell is going to score a huge touchdown to get right back into it. An 83-yard bomb. 25 completions here today for Stevens, and what a touchdown pass. Oh, my goodness. That is his third touchdown pass in the ballgame, and Russell just outruns the whole secondary. My goodness. That is the longest play that we've seen here so far for the Tar Heels in this series. We need a little bit more of that. 38-35 as Doug Justice has an interception, and the Tar Heels are in business, folks. Looking to get the lead here in the fourth quarter. Second down and 10. Stevens to throw it. And he's got Russell coming across the middle inside the 10, down to the six-yard line. Five consecutive completions now for Stevens after that interception. And they go play action. Stevens right side. Mason drops the football inside the five. Oh, my goodness. Crowd goes wild right there with the drop. And that is going to bring up uh, Dan Orner for the field goal. I believe this is his first kick that he's made all season. And it's good. <laughs> Six play, 15-yard drive. They take the lead. Dan Orner, he missed a field goal last week, and it cost them the game against Virginia. And right now, he ties the game up, so he's doing pretty well today. Here's another pick. Dexter Reed has it this time at the 38-yard line. Troth just overthrows his man, and Dexter Reed makes him pay. Let's take another look. Great blocking, great pocket, and just overthrew him by about three yards right there. Dexter Reed in great position. Stevens looking to lead his team to a game-winning drive. Bowman wide open again. All the way to the 45-yard line. They cannot cover this man. 485 passing today for C.J. Stevens. He has been phenomenal. Play action. Stevens right side. Mason has it. And that's going to get C.J. Stevens over 500 yards passing. Congratulations to that young man, but it's all going to be for nothing if they don't get a victory here. And here is Willie Parker getting a carry. He's got the first nice stiff arm down to the 6-yard line. Great run from Willie. Just 29 yards rushing is our average for the season. We only have eight here today. 
First down and goal. They're going to give it off to Willie Parker again. And he fumbles the football into the end zone. It's recovered by East Carolina. Oh, my goodness. Willie Parker, what are you doing, my friend? Oh, my goodness. Stevens, player of the game, and Copper with three touchdown receptions. The Pirates now looking to get in field goal range. Draw off right side. He finds Brown for the first down up to the 32-yard line. The Pirates are driving. Draw off right side. He's picked up again. This is Mason, the freshman wide receiver. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He gets the pick, the first of his career. Oh, man. And now Stevens and the Pirates, or the Tar Heels offense, excuse me, are in great field position. And they need a field goal here to win it. They're down to 10, though. Offense is struggling on this drive. Right side is right. He's got the first down out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. But we all know Dan Orner is not the best kicker. So we need more yards. There's Mitchell at the 6-yard line. And the Tar Heels call it timeout. They'll bring up first and goal. 100% in the red zone here today. They're going to hand it off to Willie Parker to try to get it in the center of the field. And he is down with one second left. They call a timeout. And here is the field goal unit. Dan Orner, can he be the hero here today after, you know, basically helping us lose last week? Dan Orner's kick is up and it is good. He is the hero today. We walk out of here with a 41-38 victory over the East Carolina Pirates in Greenville, North Carolina. What a game this was. A lot of fireworks. C.J. Stevens goes for over 500 passing yards. It looked like we were going to win there at the end with a Willie Parker touchdown. But he fumbles it into the end zone. And then we get a pick from our freshman wide receiver who's out there filling in for uh, Hawkins, who is an injured cornerback. And Dan Orner, the hero of the game, with two field goals at the end to tie it and then to take the lead. My goodness, number two greatest game of all time, 488 greatness score. As we see Ohio State destroys Wisconsin. And Oklahoma, what a game between Oklahoma and Texas this week. 556 yards of offense today for North Carolina. Not a lot of rushing yards. Uh, let's see, how many interceptions did we have? We lost two fumbles here today. We had two picks. Uh, but we intercepted them five times, folks. Our defense has been lights out the past couple weeks as far as turnovers. We did allow a lot of yards here today. But our offense puts up 20 points in the fourth quarter to get the walk-off field goal victory. And I am so proud of this team right now. After losing a heartbreaker to Virginia, we could have just came out. We could have been flat and got destroyed here by the Pirates, who have a pretty solid team. But C.J. Stevens, 31 of 45, 541 yards, three touchdowns, two picks, 68% today. He was sacked three times as well, a long of 83 to Russell which really kept us in the game big time. Willie Parker, just 46 yards on the ground today, one touchdown. Madison Hedgecock, two for eight. And both of those carries were for first downs. And Terry had a carry. I don't even know who that is. But, you know, congratulations to you for losing three yards on your only carry of the game. <laughs> a long of 17 today for Willie Parker. He did have a couple runs that were over 15 yards, I believe. But we need more from him. Five broken tackles, and that fumble that went into the end zone. Bowman, 11 catches, 193 yards. Mason, 6 for 111. He had a pick as well. Russell, 135 yards, two touchdowns. Bowman had the other score. Mitchell, Pollock, Wright, they all had some catches today. And the receiving core for this team is definitely the biggest bright spot. Um, once we get Darian Durant back, I think this team can be very dangerous. We just need some help on that O-line. They need to block a little better. We gotta get our ground game working just a little bit. We can't just rely on our passing attack. I mean, we can't put up 550 plus yards passing every week. That's just not gonna happen, especially in ACC play. Maybe against Duke we could do that, but <laughs> the rest of the team's not so much. You saw what we did last week against Virginia. Our offense stalled most of the game, except for a couple good drives, but against better talent, we're not going to be able to do this. So we need to have balance. We need to be able to run the football and get Willie Parker at least one or two hundred-yard games of the season. That would be great. Doug Justice led the team in tackles with a six. He had two for loss. He had a sack. He had a pick. 
Derek Johnson has 66 yard pick six today. Michael Waddell had four tackles and he got beat all game by Copper with touchdowns. Only one sack today, five interceptions. Roberson, Mason, Justice, Johnson, and Dexter Reed all with interceptions. It took five picks to beat the Pirates, folks. Five pass deflections, two forced fumbles. One recovered for Darius Bowman, who was out there filling in for an injured corner as well. Derek Johnson with the defensive touchdown. Dan Orner, two for two field goals today, five for five extra points. Best game for the senior in his entire career. John Lafferty had a 46-yard punt today. We didn't do anything on special teams. We can't even get a kick return more than 20 yards, which is very sad. Stevens, Johnson, Russell, players of the game for North Carolina. Copper, Duckett, Tross, players of the game for the Pirates. And that is it for this video, guys. Our next game, it doesn't get any easier, but it is a home game in Chapel Hill. We'll be hosting the 19th ranked Arizona State Sun Devils. This is going to be another tough matchup. They're 4-2 on the season. Uh, we need to get that ground game working a little bit. We need Willie Parker to contribute. Well, I'll see you guys at that one next Sunday. Until then, take it easy, guys.